Engine lubrication by means of oil is primarily used to reduce friction between moving parts and dissipate heat. In this animation, we want to describe wet sump lubrication using a four-stroke engine with only one cylinder. In the lower area of the engine is the oil sump in which the oil can be found. The oil pump is responsible for pumping the oil through oil galleries. When the oil has become very hot after several cycles, it is cooled by an oil cooler. The oil is then pumped to the oil filter. Inside the oil filter is a filter that catches the particles in the oil and does not allow them to pass through to the engine. The oil flows from the outside into the oil filter then runs through the filter, which is made invisible here, and flows through the center tube. Then, the oil flows upwards. The oil flows to the engine where it is used to lubricate the crankshaft bearings. In four-stroke engines, crankshaft bearings are almost always plain bearings. Unlike roller bearings, which use roller elements to move the inner and outer ring against each other, plain bearings use oil to form a lubricating film. The lubricating film is created by the two contact surfaces that move. The crankshaft has oil galleries so that the connecting rod bearing can be supplied with oil. In diesel engines, the connecting rod can also have an oil gallery to use the oil for cooling and lubricating the piston and the piston pin. For gasoline engines, on the other hand, the oil, which splashes out of the sides of the bearing, is used to cool and lubricate the piston, pin, and cylinder. Holes can also help to transport the oil to the desired parts and spots. The piston has one or two compression rings and one oil scraper ring. The oil scraper ring is responsible for controlling the oil balance at the piston and the compression rings. Excess oil flows inwards through holes, especially when the piston is running down. Then, the oil can drain down from the piston into the oil sump. Furthermore, the oil is pumped to the camshaft bearings, rocker arms, and valves in order to reduce friction and heat. From here, the oil flows into the oil sump via oil galleries.